Hello everyone! Nice to see you again on TV. Before the class, I let you remember to prevent COVID-19. Don't forget that you should wear face mask when you go out. Open the windows every two hours. You should eat well, drink hot beverages such as arts and milk. You shouldn't hold others' hands. Do exercise every day and sleep well. Okay, then let's begin the class. Let's turn into Maple Leafs Worldwide with a report by Tim Tagger and Marty Deer. for tuning into Maple Leafs Worldwide Weather Report. We'll be checking on the weather all over the world with Tim Tiger. First, Canada. How's the weather? It's snowy. It's snowy in Canada. Thank you, Tim. Next, Mexico. <sighs> Tim, how's the weather? <sighs> it's sunny. <sighs> it's sunny. In Mexico. Thank you, Tim. Next, England. Tim, how's <sighs> the weather? <sighs> <sighs> it's foggy. Uh, uh, it's foggy in England. <sighs> uh. Thank you, Tim. Next, France. <sighs> Tim, how's the weather? <sighs> Ah, it's rainy. Ah, it's rainy in France. Oh. Thank you, Tim. Next, Russia. Tim, how's the weather? Ah, 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 ah. It's cold. Ah, it's cold. In Russia. Thank you, <sighs> Tim. Next, Australia. Tim, how's the weather? Hold on. <sighs> I'm coming. <sighs> it's hot. It's hot in Australia. Are you okay, Tim? <sighs> I'm good, Marty. What's next? Next is Japan. Japan? All right. Next is Japan. Tim, how's the weather in Japan? <sighs> Tim? I'm coming. Tim? Oh, I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. almost there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's cloudy. It's cloudy in Japan. Thank you, Tim. Oh. Next is Mars. Mars? Yes, Mars. No, Marty. I quit. Well, thank you for tuning in to Maple Leafs Worldwide Weather. See you next time. Right, you have finished. Is it amazing video? What is the topic of today's class? Do you have any idea? Of course, today we'll learn how to tell How's the weather? How's the weather? In Mongolia, we can have four seasons one day, in one day, especially in the springtime. Some days it is snows. 
but a little bit later it melts and gets warm and very soon it gets windy you know so for seasons in one day it's very unusual weather in other hand it is said extreme weather before the class as usual you know you need your book pen and your notebooks open the page number 121 extreme weather words in this class we'll learn a few words related to weather expressions and phrases the first one is drizzle say after me drizzle it's very light rain falling in very fine drops in other hand it's rain lightly it started to drizzle can you see the picture next breeze breeze a gentle wind tantalizing cooking smells wafted on the evening breeze it's an example so it's very gentle wind you can see on the picture next hail hail small hard balls of ice that fall from the sky like rain summertime you can have hails some days, especially on uh, very cold, rainy days. Maybe it hurts you at very small balls of ice. Next, shower. Shower. It's a brief and usually light fall of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. Blaster. Blaster. Of a storm, wind or rain, blow or beat fiercely and noisily. For example, a winter gale blasted against the sides of the house. It's very noisy wind. Next, sleet. Sleet. It's a mixture of rain and snow. For example, rain which freezes before reaching the ground. If you have sleet in the winter time or in spring, it could be very cold and you can get wet. Thunder, thunder. It's a loud rumbling or crashing noise heard after lightning flash due to the expansion of rapidly heated air. For example, there was a crash of thunder. Can you hear the noise? Next, gale. Gale. It's very strong wind. For example, it was almost blowing a gale. It's very strong wind, you can see on the picture. Next, frost. Frost. A deposit of small white ice crystals formed on the ground or other surfaces when the temperature falls below freezing. In winter time, if you blow to the window glass, it freezes. It's a kind of fresh frost. Downpow. Downpow. It's a very heavy rainfall, very heavy rainfall. For example, a sudden downpour had filled the gutters and drains.
Next, hurricane. Hurricane. A storm with a violent wind, in particular a tropical cyclone in the Caribbean. Hurricane. It's a very dangerous. It's natural disaster, you know. Next, it's blizzard. Blizzard. A severe snowstorm with high winds. If it's having blizzard, it's dangerous to go out or to drive outside. It's very dangerous. You can see nothing. Could be the very difficult. Right? We have learned new extra weather words. We had 12 words already known the meaning because I've read them, the translation after their words. Now, put the weather words in three columns. The first one, rain. You can find four of these words related to rain. Next, wind. There are also four words that shows kind of wind. The last one is cold. Also four words related to cold. I'm waiting for you to put the words into right columns. Let us check the right words under the right column. Drizzle, shower, thunder, downpour are all kinds of rain. Breeze, blaster, gale, hurricane are related to wind. Hail, sleet, Frost, blizzard are related to cold. So, well done. If you have put these words in the right column, you have now 12 new words. Now, let's check all these words into there's 12 sentences. You can put the right words in the gaps. Just uh, let's do it together. One. From December to February, violent thunder and uh, storms are experienced. Can you see all the gaps? And you put the right words from new 12 words. Okay, you can see they all completed sentences with new words. You can see the world words that completed in the gaps. The first one is from December to February, violent thunder and hail storms are experienced. Two, the winds bluster and howl against the window, shaking the house violently. Three, the sky drops silver threads of slit. Four, the grass was covered with frost in the early morning. A downpour of rain put out the children's bonfire. Six, the drizzle had now stopped and the sun was breaking through. Seven, 
A cool breeze touched the warmth of her cheeks. 8. The weather was good except for an occasional shower. 9. Countries devastated by the hurricane are in need of immediate aid in the form of money, food, and medical supplies. 10. Fortunately, we were not far from the camp as a blizzard came up with a terrible sandstorm. 11. The house crumpled up in the gale. The last sentence, twelfth, is lightning flashed round them and thunder rumbled. Right. Okay. We have all new words that use it in these twelve sentences. You now translate these ones in Mongolian. It's your job. Now we have some extra weather words and we are trying to watch a video what is the difference between some of these words. Very interesting, right? And now it's time to get your homework. You should talk about the weather forecast with your family. There are five questions you can ask your family members and write the answers. What's the forecast for tomorrow? I hope you can write and about the forecast. Two, how much do you trust the weather forecast? How often is it wrong? Sometimes the forecast says it snows tomorrow, but sometimes it doesn't work. Question three, do you check the forecast when you are planning a trip? Four, have you ever had your holidays ruined because of bad weather? If you have a planned an excellent trip, it's not a problem, the bad weather. You can go on your excellent trip. The last question is, does the weather change your mood? How? Some people say, it's uh, very cold, it's very windy, I'm not in good mood, they say. But what about you? So, write the answers. See you next time. If you have some questions, just ask your English teachers. Bye-bye.